சகோதரி சகோதரர்களே வணக்கம் வார் ஆன் பிளாக் மணி த வார் இஸ் அகேன்ஸ்ட் த பீப்புள் ஆஃப் இந்தியா தட் இஸ் வாட் த மோடி கவர்மெண்ட் ஹஸ் டன் அண்ட் தே ஃபோர் டுடே மீட்டிங் எம்ப்ளாயீஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் கவர்மெண்ட் ஐ எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் அவர் சொலிடாரிட்டி வித் யோர் டிமாண்ட் தட் at least the salaries of november and december must be paid in cash because we know that in india only 2 to 3% of the population of india are living in the cashless world mr modi may be living in the cashless world Mr Modi's ministers may be living in the cashless world but made in India Indians are living hand to mouth on that cash that currency 86% of the currency of India which was in circulation in 500 and 1000 rupee notes that has been removed from the system and that is not a surgical strike on black money that is carpet bombing on the indian economy and on the lives of the working people of india and therefore whether in parliament or outside parliament we demand that till the system is properly in place 500 rupee notes and 1000 rupee notes must be permitted to ensure some relief for the distressed people of india my dear friends today we are told by the prime minister and by this government look at our jawans our soldiers who are on the borders if they can stand for so long for the security of india why you cannot stand in the line and the queue of the bank what kind of analogy is this it is not a question of standing in a queue in a bank we can stand in a queue in a bank but by standing in a queue that is not the pain that we are against what we are saying is that removing 86% of the cash of this economy you have removed and destroyed the livelihood of crores of indians it is not you and me who are talking like this yesterday the export promotion council of india has said that as far as textile is concerned as far as leather is concerned as far as the main labor intensive industries of india are concerned which give employment to people in the last 10 days 4 lakh a minimum of 4 lakh workers have lost their jobs mr modi the industries association have said 32 million workers in different industries and trades who are paid daily wages in cash because of the withdrawal of the cash they have not got their payments we asked mr modi what about those workers what about the unorganized sector workers what about the 20 lakh plantation workers who are not being paid their wages here in tirupur you know tirupur the garment industry the hosiery industry the tirupur manufacturers association has also said they are unable to pay their workers weekly payments therefore it is not a question of the pain of standing in a queue mr modi it is the pain of seeing 
lakhs and crores of workers, unorganized workers, suffering because of your completely ill-conceived move. The second point, when was it done? It was done when farmers required seeds, farmers required fertilizers. Farmers were on the one hand bringing their kharif paddy to the centers and on the other hand they were getting prepared to sow their crop for the Ravi. No cash in agricultural India, in rural India. It is cash payments everybody knows. But immediately by removing that, what happened? Today, agriculture specialists are also saying that this is going to affect not only industrial production, but also the agriculture of our country. How many lakhs of agricultural workers today are not being paid their wages? This is the cost of this wrong move taken by the Modi government. We say, you are against black money. We are against black money. But we know black money holders, most of the big black money holders, their money is in foreign accounts, Swiss bank accounts, 680 names are with the government. The Panama Papers, the WikiLeaks Panama Papers have shown another 500 whose names are known to the government. But is it not a shame that this government wants to protect the identity of the black money holders and you and me who go to the bank to bring out our hard-earned money, they put a black mark on our finger as though we are the black money holders. Amen. Their faces are protected. Their identity is protected. Their black money is protected. And our fingers have got a black mark thanks to Mr. Modi. We cannot accept this. We demand Publish the names. Who are the names we know? Publish their names. They are the friends of all those sitting in government today. And that is why their names are being protected. That is why their accounts are being protected. At the time of the elections, we were told the black money will be brought. But where is it? 15 lakh rupees in every account. Today, our money. We are not being allowed to take our own money from the bank. Forget the 15 lakh rupees that he had promised to bring back. And we know the reason behind it. My dear brothers and sisters, yesterday I met a young woman, a nurse, at present time with a relation who is ill in the global hospital. I'm staying with her. Yesterday a young woman came to meet me. She's a nurse in that hospital. She told me that three years ago, she had taken a student loan of 1.86 lakh rupees. Only 1.86 lakh rupees. Today, that bank, along with interest, is demanding that she return 4.16 lakh rupees. I said, what is this? A loan of 1.86 lakh rupees. You are asking this young woman to return 4.16 lakh rupees. What is this rate of interest? Then I rang up the bank manager and I asked, how is it? He said, madam, what can I do? We have got instructions from Delhi that we should not have any bank loans on our account. All the bank loans have to be paid back. And if they are not paid back, we will be punished. That is why I have given the girl a notice 
give me back the money immediately otherwise you have to give 4.6 lakh rupees that is for a young woman who is a nurse this is a government bank but what did arun jetli say what did the finance minister of india say in parliament 8 lakh crore rupees not not 1.86 lakh not 4.6 lakhs 8 lakh crore rupees loans which have been taken by the rich by the corporates they have not repaid their loans government banks including the sbi the biggest bank many of you may be working in state bank of india large numbers of npas this is a bogus word npa non performing asset actually it is not a non performing asset it is a performing asset for the corporates <laughs> because it is your money in my money in the bank we cannot get the loan from our money the banks are giving the loans to the rich and the corporates they do not pay back their loans my dear friends you will be shocked to know that a study showed by the cag the controller and auditor general of india in his report has said that much of the so called non performing assets have been sent abroad to foreign accounts who is vijay malia 1200 crore rupees just now the spi has let go 7000 crore rupees of one bank in one year 2 lakh crore rupees of the big corporates they have said okay we write off your loan today the main reason for this coercive currency exchange is because this government is forcing people to go to the banks and deposit their money and once you deposit your money that same money will be used by the banks to make their balance sheets look healthy to show a profit on their balance sheets to write off the loans they have given to the rich and the corporates and then again with your money again they will give the criminal defaulters the loan that is the actual strategy of this modi government defend the rich help the rich and they put salt in our wounds by saying this is pro poor this is not pro poor my dear friends this is an attack on the poor it is an attack on the people of india it is an attack on the economy of india it is an attack on the jobs in india this is a ploy to help the rich i also want to say why is modi ji silent about the black money which these big corporates are giving to big political leaders why 3 years ago there was a raid on birlas there was a raid on sahara and in that raid they found a list of all the political leaders who they say have taken money and in that list on both the companies in the billa list 25 crore rupees to gujarat cm in the sahara list 55 crore rupees in the name of gujarat cm what does it mean who is the gujarat cm at that time who is the gujarat cm at that time who was taking we don't know when the cbi asked they asked the birla executive what is this gujarat cm he said no no gujarat cm means gujarat alkali chemical company <laughs> it's very good gujarat 
Alkali Chemical Company. Then they asked, you show any other paper where you have called Gujarat CM Chemical Company? You please show us any other paper? For last two years, the case has been stopped. Now the case is coming into the Supreme Court. The petition has come to the Supreme Court. What we say is, this black money, the people of India know who has got the black money. The people of India know these are the friends of those in power. And therefore, the people of India do not believe in these false apps which are being given by Mr. Modi. What is the app? He has given 10 questions. How do you like my decision? Do you like it very much? Is it a very good decision? How much have you been helped? Oh, 10 questions. But not a single question which asks, do you think this decision is wrong? Has this decision affected you negatively? These questions are not there. A fixed poll and fixing the poll to say that people of India appreciate it. I don't think Mr. Modi, he travels so much abroad. I think he has forgotten what his own country people think. This is the reality. Therefore, my dear friends, when they try and use emotion instead of logic, they want to say that those of us who have fought all our lives against black money, by opposing this, they want to say everybody is in support of black money. They say, that is what it is. When there's no logic, they want to use emotion. They say this will stop all the counterfeit money. They say this will stop all terror attacks. The deputy governor of the RBI from 2008 to 2014, Dr. K.C. Chakravarti, he has said that black money cannot be stopped by this process of demonetization unless you identify the culprits, unless you identify the process. What is the process of helping terrorists? You don't want to stop that. Day before yesterday, two terrorists were shot. They had 2,000 rupee notes in their pocket. Within two weeks, new notes of 2,000 rupees in their pocket. Can you ban currency and say this will ban terrorism? This is false nationalism, this is fake nationalism, this is pseudo-nationalism. You are trying to replace logic with emotion. That is not going to work. People of this country are against terrorism. They are against terrorists. They are against the avenues. But why you are not working to prevent that? By stopping 500 rupee and 1000 rupee notes, do terrorists go with 500 rupee notes in a big sack to put, to kill innocent people? What are they talking about? Today in the Supreme Court, yesterday in the Supreme Court, when the Supreme Court asked, what is your reasoning for this? They said, we want to stop terrorists. But they could not give any logic about it. Because the first question they have to answer is, if it is simply banning of currency, then why it was not done earlier? Because it is not banning of currency. It is the avenues, the processes, and the failure of our own intelligence agencies and machinery 
That is the issue here. And to conceal that failure, they want to give so-called nationalist arguments. We know about counterfeit money. Our economy is 136 lakh crores is our GDP. How much of it is counterfeit money? According to the latest assessment, it is 0.002%, that is less than 400 crore rupees. Yes, we should do it. The National Investigation Agency, they have given a report. They asked the institute in Kolkata to study it, how to stop counterfeit money. And the institute in Kolkata, the ISA in Kolkata, after studying the whole thing, have said that we have got sufficient machinery to prevent counterfeit money. But today, the entire branding of so-called nationalism is being wrongly used. According to the RSS approach, Anybody who dissents is anti-national. Anybody who raises a question is against the nation. Anybody who says you are wrong is against the nation. I would like to tell the RSS and BJP the story about the emperor. There was an emperor who wanted to do whatever he wanted and he said nobody will dare say a word. And he went without any clothes on, onto the street in a big procession. And everybody saw the emperor, but nobody spoke because they were scared. And then a little child stood up and said, Oh, mama, the emperor has no clothes on. And then the entire crowd stood up. Today, we also are in that position. We are being told, if you speak, you are anti-national. If you protest, you are anti-national. We want to tell these people, we don't need to learn nationalism from you. We know what nationalism is. These are employees of the government. Without their hard work, you will not exist. Twelve bank officers have given up their lives. Twelve bank officers. Over 71 people have given up their lives, been forced to. They have died standing in the queue because they could not get money for their children's treatment. 71 people. We know what nationalism is. But we will never accept your fake nationalism. In Parliament, you refused to have a condolence resolution for the 12 bank officers. That is anti-national, Mr. Modi. What you are doing is not in the interests of the nation. You did not do it in parliament, but all over India, meetings like this are taking place and people are standing up and condoling the deaths of their colleagues in the course of work. Therefore, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, today is a time to speak up. Today is a time when we put the country's interests first. And the country's interests demand that this government roll back its totally, utterly misconceived policy. We are against black money. And to stop black money, we demand from this government, make the names public. Go after the Panama paper account holders. Go after the Swiss bank account holders. Put those in jail who are taking loans of people's money, public money and not paying it back. Put them in jail. You will get 8 lakh crore rupees from those who have taken loans and not paid it back. Do that, Mr. Modi, and you will get the support of the people. But by making us suffer, by not allowing us to be paid our wages, by making every housewife cry 
because she does not have the money to go and buy vegetables and run her household budget. We oppose that, Mr. Modi. And therefore, we demand from this platform, we support the demand of the central and state government employees for cash payments. We demand that the bank currency be allowed to be used till the 31st of December. We demand that you roll back this wrong policy and bring some redresser and some relief to the working people of India. I congratulate all of you for the demand that you have raised and I appeal to you to raise your voice. This is a time to raise your voice, my dear friends. Raise your voice against wrong policies and force them to take it back. Thank you very much. Thank